So last time I gave you a homework of tossing three coins and looking at all the possibilities, uh, possible results. So possibilities. And so we got three coins to th toss. Yeah. What's the answer? What are all the possibilities? So here on the first coin, yeah, if we throw it, you know, of course, we're going to throw them all together. Yes. But it's, anyway, in that first coin, the possibilities are only heads and tails. And yes. And on the second coin, yes, yeah, so we remove that. Yeah, that already landed. It's either this and this. And the second coin is also heads or tails. Yes, it's not very good. It's heads or tails. There you go. It's clear. So it could either be heads or tails. Yeah. So if the first one is a head, then the second could either be a head or a tail. But also, if it's a tail, the second one could also be a head or a tail. Right? That's for the second one. Yeah. So. Here we got here the first coin, and this is the second coin, and of course we have here the third coin. And the third coin can also be either head or tail. And that's how you do them. And so we can look at all the possibilities here. So here you can say that it could either be a head, all heads, and at the bottom here could either be all tails. And in between that, you could say a heads, heads, tails. There you go. It could also be heads, heads, tails. And it could also be head, tails, and head. Yeah, that's head, tails, and head. And then it could have also be head and a tail and a tail. And so you just follow all of this and you'll come up with all the possible answers, all the possible results and that's what I really asked you in your homework and so we got all the possible results and this is your answer these are all the possibilities and then here we have an idea of what probabilities are yes so now we talk about probabilities abilities and so we can say that what are the percentage or what fraction is it that when we throw those three coins we will get all heads so we can hear he see here the result could be yeah that that it's all heads, it's going to be one out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's one out of the eight possibilities. Yes, I do. And so in here, the tails is also one out of eight possibilities. Yeah, this is all heads. Yeah, all heads. Well, to write it properly, it should be What's the probability that it's all tails is equal to one out of eight? The, there it is. And so the possibility that there are, there are two heads should be one, two, three, four. And one, this is two heads. The probability that there will be two heads is essentially two out of three. Oh, look, there's another one, two heads. One, two, three, yeah, three. One, two, three. 
So it's three out of eight. And of course the possibility, the probability that it's two tails, at least two tails, is you count, you see, one, two, three. And that's also three out of eight. And so here we got, um, we got an idea of the difference between possibilities and probabilities. When you say possibility, it's all the answers that are possible, all the results that are possible. Probability is how it's more like the specific. Yeah. So part of the whole. That's what probabilities are. We're going to talk more about this next time.